Hello friends, my name is Colin. I hope everybody's having an outstanding day today. I am loving life. I'm riding my 2021 Pan America on the back roads of Maryland. And I can come up and say America right there. The American flag's out. Just absolutely beautiful weather. So I was actually online the other day and I came across, um, you know, I was on the Harley website. I was looking at a part or something. And uh, this bike flashed on the screen and I, you know, it was a Pan America. Obviously I ride a Pan America. It kind of piqued my interest a little bit. And I started looking at it and they have this new version of the uh, Pan America Special and another ride I'll go over in just a second. And it's called the GI uh, Edition. So it's, it's basically uh, the Pan America Special and then with a completely different paint job. And there's a great story behind it I'll share in just a second. And uh, the other uh, vehicle that it's on is a Harley Trike. And it's on the, uh, the Trike Ultra. You know, I've never been on a trike before. I actually need to probably try riding one of those once in a blue moon. Uh, but it's on the two. So it's on the Pan America Special and the um, Ultra Trike, right? And there's nothing different about any of these bikes except the paint job. But I love the story behind it. So the mechanical-wise, you're going to get the exact same bike on both. And there is a price difference, which I'll go over in just a little bit, the difference between the two prices. Um, but the story behind it is they were kind of inspired, or they were inspired, um, from the Harley WLA bikes. And if you know what those are, those are the bikes that were used uh, during World War II. Uh, there were thousands of bikes that all the Allies had out there, all our boys, when they were out there fighting. And uh, those WLA bikes, what they were, is kind of like the WL part of it, is like a model classification. And the WL is kind of came from a civilian bike in the 1930s that was a flathead, I believe it was a 45 cubic inch motor. And so they took that and then they ran, was that a fox? I just saw a fox run over there. You don't see those too often. But they took that and uh, ran with it and then created the, um, the color scheme back there. And if you remember, it was an olive drab, like a real olive drab uh, type color. So they got inspiration for that and they created this mineral green denim color for this GI edition. There are two gentlemen that were awarded these new rides. Now I don't know if they got both of them or which they got to choose between each one, but these guys were veterans who had great stories that Harley awarded them these new bikes. Um, the first one, and I hope I'll get both these names pronounced right, but it's Greg Wetzel. And Greg was in Vietnam. And uh, Greg uh, was an award, or a Medal of Honor award recipient for something he did during Vietnam. He was in a helicopter, and that helicopter was shot down by the enemy, and then it crashed. And as he was badly injured, he pulled out several of his brothers and saved a bunch of different people while fighting the enemy. And uh, obviously Greg lived on and he saved a bunch of people, and Harley took that and recognized him for that one. The next one, his name is Brian Cotier, or Cotier, hopefully I pronounced that right. And uh, Brian actually was with the Army, and uh, he toured in Iraq, so he did a tour in Iraq. And uh, recently, now it wasn't during that tour, but recently, um, you know, he was heading to a meeting, and he was part of a, a support group for veterans dealing with PTSD. But on the way there, as he was riding, he was riding his Harley, uh, as he was riding there, uh, he came across a three-car accident. And in this accident, uh, one of these cars was like on fire, like burning up a lot of smoke. He got off his bike, stopped, kind of jumped right into action, and he pulled a woman out and saved her life. So I think that is super cool that uh, Harley awarded these two great veterans for their, uh, not only to the service of the country, but service the community and thanking them. The price of these, they're a little bit more expensive. You probably expect that, it's, you know, it's a paint color. So for the paint itself is, uh, you know, again, I think the stock on this is what, 29,000, or excuse me, 19,900. Well, it probably was 29,000 with all the surcharges and accessories after you add on to it. But that's a different story altogether. But the base price of this is 19,999. And then I believe that one is 20,800. So you're paying almost $800 more to get this limited edition. There's probably not gonna be a lot of these guys. The trike's a little bit more expensive. I think uh, when I was reading the trike, and if I remember, let's see if I can get these numbers off the top of my head. Uh, I think it was $2,400 more. I think it was like $38,100 if I remember right. Um, but it was like $2,400 more than the regular ones, the exact same bike. Uh, with the exception of the obvious uh, paint job. 
But I wanted to get you guys to think. I mean, you saw a lot of these pictures I was popping up throughout this video and uh, see what you think of it. You know, I mean, who knows? I mean, like I was talking about, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the snake venom color, that green and kind of like purplish that came out, I think it was about a year or two years ago. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge green fan, uh, but that actually looks sweet. That looks absolutely sweet in the uh, sunlight. And I dig the fact that um, like this one, how it has the white star, the five point white star um, that kind of like signifies during the World War II, all the military vehicles had that white star there to kind of uh, like on the Jeeps and stuff. But let me know your thoughts. So it's the end of the video, guys. And always with the end of each video, I do Harley trivia. Uh, let me pop one out here. Let me think of one. You think I'd have these prepared, but I actually don't. Um, okay. So what was the infamous nickname, infamous nickname that was given to Harley Davidson motorcycles during the AMF years? A lot of customers of Harley ended up calling this bike this name what is it all right guys leave that information in the comments and obviously leave what your take is on the new color and what you think about that story i think it's actually pretty damn cool now get out there and ride be well and i'll talk to you guys soon